There was an incident involving a robot and a seven-year-old playing chess last week, and we need to talk about it. Now, I am going to play this clip, and it may be disturbing for some of you. If you feel it will be, just skip forward about 30 seconds. Before we start, I want to say I'm not dumbing down this incident in any way. Any safety-related incident is a serious deal. But what troubles me is the way this is being interpreted on the internet. I first became aware of this on the Telegraph on MSN, and it says a chess-playing robot was accused of attacking a seven-year-old boy and breaking his finger during a chess match in Moscow. It goes on to say it shows the boy in excruciating pain as the robot clamps down on its finger for several seconds in the middle of the game. Several spectators can be seen rushing to stop the incident, freeing the boy from the robot's clutches. They claim that the robot attacked its human opponent after the opponent failed to wait for it to complete its move. And somewhere in there is the truth. And I just want to read a few other titles I found for this same incident. Chess robot goes rogue, breaks seven-year-old player's finger. Chess robot turns violent in mid-match, breaks kid's finger. And the best one, chess robot grabs and severs finger of seven-year-old. Best I can tell from the original report, it did clamp down and the boy ended up in a plaster cast over a fractured finger. Still a serious safety incident but there was no finger laying on the floor of a chess match. And I spent like an hour yesterday reading through comments because here's where I take issue with almost every incident out there is we want to point the finger at one single point of failure. And almost all safety situations, there were multiple points of failure. But a few comments. The robot did not like such a hurry. He grabbed the boy's index finger and squeezed it hard. A chess playing robot, apparently unsettled by the quick response of the seven year old boy, unceremoniously grabbed and broke his finger during the match at the Moscow Open. Powerful beings such as this should be banned from coming in contact with children. That's right, guys. Every powerful being that can come in contact with a child should be banned. But let's look at this from some of these comments. So first you have the group that say that the kid was not mature enough to be near this robot. This kid is considered one of the 30 strongest chess players in Moscow under age nine. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but I would guess that means that he probably could have been put in place of the robot and been playing four of us and probably beat all of us. So it was not that he was not smart enough. Did he make a wrong move? Yeah, he made a wrong move. Should that single wrong move been able to cause this incident? Probably not. Then we have the people who are saying that the engineer who designed this system should be banned from ever building equipment again. This is not that simple of a problem. First, the system had been in use for over 15 years. And that means that it does have a decent safety record. That also means safety has changed a lot in 15 years. Now, there's a group out there saying, well, they should have had the latest and greatest safety on it. Well, my car is 15 years old and I have not taken it in to get a safety upgrade yet. And then we have the group who are praising the heroes that came and wrestled the child away from this vicious robot. I have one question for you. Did the robot come down and fracture this finger? Or did four people jerking on a kid trying to wrestle it away from a robot fracture the finger? Now, my point in all this is to show that there is not a single point cause of what happened. There are multiple failures on the way that led to this. As you come to the end of this video, I am going to tell you I'm still very uncomfortable posting it because I really like to wait until the facts come out. And that probably will be maybe six months or a year after really they study and they evaluate and they figure out 
what the best solution is. But as a friend of mine said yesterday, if we do not post our side when the media comes out with these stories, then all that the general public is going to know is what the media tells them. And honestly, I should have been doing this long ago because one that has been really bothering me for months is this tweet by Brendan Carr where he says, I've seen the Terminator. I've seen iRobot. I know how this ends. That's why I'm hereby proposing a new rule. If your robot dog is too large to kick over in case of emergency, it's banned. Now, Brendan Carr is the commissioner of the FCC, and he is talking about Boston Dynamics Spot Robot, which has enormous possibilities. And here's one of those times I can never tell by someone's post whether they're actually being serious, they're joking, or they're just totally misinformed. But most general public who saw Brendan Carr's tweet believe that there probably is a danger there and there simply isn't. Now, I would love to have a discussion about this in the comments, but let's keep it clean. This is not a U.S. versus Russia incident. This is not a robot versus human incident. And no, Skynet is not coming. So my question for you is what can we learn from this and make our systems safer next time?